We get to all those new developments for you in a moment, but first tonight at six, our Jenny Runovich obtained those 911 calls today from frantic people who were inside the mall, and she begins our live team coverage tonight from Greenwood Park Mall. Jenny. Yeah, and Scott, these are difficult to listen to, and there are a lot of them. In fact, there were so many 911 calls coming in Sunday that about 50 had to roll over into Bartholomew County dispatch. And we're hearing them on a day when witnesses who were inside the food court that evening met with police to retrieve the items they left behind. 911, what's the location of the emergency? <laughs> When gunfire erupted in the food court. Where in the mall are they? <laughs> the food court. There's three people dead. Amid chaos and calls to 911. Okay. Stay hidden. They're on the way, okay? Okay. okay. Shoppers and workers at Greenwood Park Mall had one mission. Run, hide, get somewhere safe. We need to leave. People need to get out of the mall because there's something going on. We heard the noise and we started running. And what was the traumatic part for me was that because of the noise, I started running my aged parents, in-laws uh, with me. And then two seconds later, I'm like, I left my in-laws. And then a very kind lady from K Jewelers opened up her shutters. She said, get in, and we like crawled in. And During the danger, like everyone else, she dropped everything. 200 personal items left behind in the food court, clothing, candles, school supplies. Here, days later, people picked up their belongings. Okay, and I've not seen a sense. I've now been back to the mall to check. A surreal and sobering uh, errand sure. for those who witnessed a shooting. Dangerous. This shopper, a bag of shirts. Carson, his ID. I'm guessing just heated the moment. They forgot to give it back. Most of the pickups for material items, but witnesses also shared survival stories. And every single person expressed gratitude to Eli Dickin, the 22-year-old who stopped the gunman. I find him to be an absolute hero. He was a godsend. I swear, I felt the presence of God in Eli that day. We would not be alive if it weren't for Eli. Like, I cannot believe it. Can you believe there was an armed citizen there? 